guys, it's Becky from Babes in Hairland. We are going to show you a hairstyle that kind of stems off the one from last week that we did that was a knot on top of a ponytail. Um, we're going to do a cute bubble ponytail uh, where we divide sections of hair off and top each of them with one of those knots. Now, I already did one up top there where I parted it from her temples back to the crown. And then we're just going to go right above the ear. And you can do these in as many ponytail sections as you want. I like to do from the crown and then here by the ears and then again at the nape of the neck. Okay, and then something that I find that helps when I'm doing half ponies or things like this where you're not grabbing all the hair into it, um, so you're not bringing hair up from below, I'll have her put her hands back here and hold the hair down below it so then I can get a good ponytail and not pull any of those other hairs up from below because I know that can be painful for them sometimes when you're wrapping. Okay, now you can make this a little bit looser if you want up here or you can keep it tight. I'm just gonna kind of pull on these just a little bit to give that a little bit of fullness. Okay, and then just like in our video from last week, you're going to put a little bit of hair from each side. Now you can use more hair for a thicker knot. And again, having these wet helps a bit. Pull those tails underneath. And then I'm going to have her hold this up there a little bit. Cinch that down. Okay, let go. And that one kind of got twisted on there, so we're just going to play with it until it sits how we want. Okay. Now we're going to keep doing this down. I'm going to part off here at the nape of the neck. And do one more. And I have done this in B's hair like last week. Um, I will just do these three because her hair isn't very long to do an actual bubble ponytail after this. But we'll keep going on hers. So we're just going to speed this up here. And uh, when we get to the end, I'll show you a little trick we do. So. Okay, now if you find that when you make the ponytails that this kind of is gaping once you put your next elastic in, um, you can solve that easy enough by taking another clear elastic and just running that right up against your knot. Okay, so we're going to do that and cinch it up under there, but that keeps this from poking out on the underside. We're just going to do one last one here on the bottom. We technically probably could do one more, but I don't think it will wrap the knot at the end. So we'll pull this down a little bit and just kind of make this bubbly. You can back comb this if you want instead to kind of make it have some poof to it, but I'm just going to lightly pull on those. Last one here, we'll secure on the back. Like I showed before, obviously these are going to poke out way bad because they're short little pieces. But to keep that from poking out, grab one more little elastic. Last one. Switch that up in there, and then that's not going to be sticking out. So there you go, your cute bubble ponytail.
top with knots. So really quick and easy, really pretty. You can do as many of these sections as you want, but that's going to keep the hair out of the way on a windy day. And they're out of play in recess. But a nice touch to an otherwise regular ponytail. So thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Check out all our hairstyles on babesinhairland.com.